welcome to home time of course i'm not at home i'm still at least swimming because i'm going from here to um catch a phrase i've been talking to all the girls here about it reese done it reese said she was stuck right around the edge by the screen so she was too close to it she, she couldn't see properly that didn't make me feel any better because now i'm worrying what if i can't get it and what if i'm also stuck to the screen it's next to the screen and of course everyone has been saying to me at work who else is doing it who else is doing it and i realized i don't know because you see what happens with television programs excuse me they don't tell you who you're going to be on with because in case you start saying things like oh uh actually i don't really like them uh uh would you mind awfully if i'm not on with them so you never know who you're going to meet could be somebody you hated could be somebody you went out with could be somebody you fell out with so it's always a bit nerve-wracking because like when you get other people off the telly you have to all immediately all be best friends so if it's someone i don't like <laughs> so much to be nervous about but i'm feeling very proud of myself today because even though i've got a long day I set my clock for an hour earlier, so I did my workout. Did my workout, read all the papers. I've been really organised all day, feeling gutted that I'm out tonight because, of course, I'm not going to see Love Island with the girls, which is one of my favourite things to do, is sit with the girls and watch Love Island. Um, but, um, yeah, hoping to have a lot of fun. I shall speak to you once I get to the studios in Maidstone. That's going to take two hours to get there. Okay, so it's home time, but home time's got a little bit green-fingered hell, like in green-fingered horror. I just came in and Stephen is uh, clearing the border between us and Teddy because uh, Betty and Teddy have uh, tenants who live in the flat next door. And uh, look at the garden. Under there somewhere is Stephen. And he's essentially cleared, can you see everything over there? All of that has gone, which is kind of a good thing, but what the hell is gonna to happen to all that? I'm gonna to have to get one of those, um, what are they called, chippers? Christ, that's a lot of stuff, a lot. Wow. Ah, took about two and a half hours to get yeah. to Celebrity uh, Catchphrase. I'm here now and I just wanna go home. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is what always happens in dressing rooms. Flowers. Crisps. Massive bowl of sweets. Fruit. Seaweed. Things have changed over the years. You would never have found seaweed, ever, in your dressing room. And popcorn. Do you know what? I am, oh look, fancy chocolate. I'm not gonna to touch any of that naughty stuff. I'm gonna have seaweed, I'm gonna have fruit, and I'm gonna use my time to do squats. As my bum is so numb after that two and a half hour drive. There you are. I've got to go away myself, I've just done end of cycle one. I've got to weigh myself and I've got to measure myself. So I better shave before I weigh myself because my manly beard will add pounds. Oh. oh my God, it was so funny. I just had the celebrity booker in my dressing room and he was saying, so, uh, you, know, uh, you know, how are you with it? I said, oh yeah, no, no I'm quite good. <laughs> so I was practicing with my husband last night and my husband couldn't get any of the answers right, but, but I got quite a few right. Bloody clever. He's like proper, proper brain box. I mean, I've, I've definitely realised that I've been booked as the dunce because they always have one dunce and I've definitely been booked as the dunce. So maybe I'll just play up to being a dunce. Maybe I shouldn't try to be clever. Okay. I'm going to go home. And then I have actually just had one piece of chocolate just for a bit of energy. I'm really nervous. Both my... um. My fellow guests have said that they are very competitive and I think they're both um, Oxbridge, so they're very clever. So I'm having a quarter of a glass of wine. Everyone else is. This is it. Bye.
Welcome to home time. We're just sitting down, Mark and I. The kids aren't back from um, their groups yet. And we are going to um, review a film that we both just think is just knockout, dirty God. Very, very, very gruelling watch. Um, we both watched it separately, so we've got no idea what the other one thinks about it. There he is. Hello. Setting up. This is how we do it. Uh, is yeah. this home time? Yeah, this is home time. Say hello, Guess home time. Guess what, team? I've lost, gone from 14 stone 4 to 13 stone 10 in the first cycle of Joe Wicks. So good. Do you want to show them your photos? I'll do that later. <laughs> it's really incredible. How much have you lost? Well, I've gone from 14.4 down to 13.10. 14.4 down Six, to 13.10. About 10. half a stone in a month. So half a stone in a month. But most and of the muscle. Yeah. So and game. Are you on that camera? Shall I turn this way? I've, oh, no, I'm not recording. I've gained muscle because that's all we're bloody doing is fitness. And yeah, so I've lost, I've lost half a stone whilst obviously replacing fat with muscle. But- And my weight, my chest has gone down two inches from 45, no, from 45, yeah, to 43. But what's been really good is you are not obsessing about food. No. Because you know what you're having and you're sticking to it and that's that. Exactly, mm. it's great. Yeah. Love it. Going well. Going very well. So yeah. So um, if you if you fancy seeing a really grueling watch, uh, a film called Dirty God about um, acid attack, acid attack on a beautiful young woman. Check out, check our, out review. our review on um, our movie playlist. Oh, thank goodness, Mark's picked me up from the station. It was nice because Jane and I got to travel together. But I have to say, Stacy lives a long way away. But it was worth it. Oh my God, Mark, I cannot tell you how beautiful not only he is, but our other two boys as well. Who oh. I meet here and there, but I've not sat and watched them, yeah, you know, when yeah, yeah. you get to sit and watch kids. Beautiful, oh, polite, gorgeous children. The baby is amazing. Stacy is amazing. Oh. I know his name. Ah! This is a secret. And um, yeah, he's just absolutely beautiful absolutely oh, yeah so it was really really nice but now i'm bloody starving yeah i'm quite hungry i'm um, so girls, hungry we were about to sit down and watch the first episode of the new season of black mirror oh uh, it's a bit bright isn't it and sunny hey. isn't it a bit sunny for the telly to work look how slim you look <gasps> mark look your belly used to stick out when you were driving look you look proper fit yeah. yeah, that's a result. <laughs> so we are just about to set up, well, we are setting up to do um, a review. Maddie and I are doing a review. Mark's trying to clear the room a bit through there. So Maddie's having her mates over tomorrow night. And then we are going to be watching Love Island. Because we're already completely and utterly hooked. And I was out last night and they all watched it without me. So today we have to make up for it and do double extra full power Love Island. So, see you in a bit. What's the world come to? I can't even hear myself speaking, so I'm probably shouting. Anyway, I'm wood chippering and we've only got the chipperer for a certain amount of time. So we're trying to chipperer through stuff. I feel like a beaver. Can't hear a thing. I'm going to go and do it. But uh, yeah, this is something I've never done. We're worn ear protection. Never worn ear protection before. Hmm? Hmm? I can't hear Nadia say, Mark! I might wear these more often. So, here's what I'm doing, green fingered hell folks. Look, I'm chipping as much of the smaller wood as I can, uh, and we'll be able to put that on the beds. But look over here, there's still an enormous amount of, well, that's the old wood. And this is the new wood. See that? See that? It's just never ending. But yeah, we've only got this for 24 hours. We might have to keep it for longer. I thought we'd get it done in 24 hours. It's me just being ambitious and a tight mod. And it's amazing how much doesn't come out. Actually, I thought there was gonna be more for how much you put in, into there, and then you have to get your hand in there and clear it all out. Of course, the fear is that your hand's going to be mushed off. Has anyone ever seen that film Fargo where 
is it Steve Buscemi gets chucked in or so one of the characters gets chucked in a shredder you just see his feet sticking out my dear of hell I mean imagine putting your arm in there or your arm in there they're just inviting you aren't they just to go oh, oh. they're just inviting you there's Toffee barking at every single stick I pick up but I can't hear her because I've got these on I'm gonna wear these in the house they're great they're great hey Maddie yeah how you doing Good. check out my headgear I've got ear protectors. Oh, is that why you're shouting? Oh, am I? I'm going back out to meet my friend, Stephen. Me and him have a connection. We stand together working with ear protectors on and we don't even exchange a word, but I know he loves me and he knows I love him too. It's a sort of two way, no way relationship, if you know what I mean. You know, I keep looking at him for that acknowledgement that perhaps I've done a good job of dragging everything over He's just so made of maleness that he just doesn't even look at me. I'm not even functioning. I'm like a wren or a sparrow in his ecosystem. I serve no purpose other than just to be, I don't know, just to be part of the ecosystem that just irritates the fuck out of his world. And he puts the stuff in the shredder. He doesn't care where it comes from. So my job's null and void, but I believe it's a two-way relationship. A two-way, no-way relationship. I've got to crack on, look. Still got all that to do. <coughs> Toffee! <coughs> and then I look at him. He never looks back. He never looks back at me. I'm always looking at him longingly. like I don't exist. Just hasn't said a single word to me. But just straight in. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to discover that a proper manly relationship is not about talking. It's just about physically doing things. If you think about it, sport, manual labor, wrestling, men who get on with men, men who are men's men, men's men, men's men, just do men's things. And this is manly things. And I've just taken nearly an entire forest and placed it at his feet like a lap dog, whelping like Toffee has done behind me. He hasn't looked at me once, Stephen, not once. Not once, I mean literally not once. And some part of me loves that. I just love that. I love being so infinitesimal, so pointless, so low down the pecking order of masculinity that I don't even exist. Mm -hmm.